Greetings. I am Herbert Erpeter, and it's time for the first Ask a Herbert Erpeter of 2024. Ask a Herbert Erpeter 169, which is a very funny number for some reason. I hope everybody had a good, safe new year period. I can tell QuestionBot is super excited to read questions out, but before that, there's a new patron to welcome. Peter Enko, whose modelling work you've probably seen on previous Ask a Herbert Erpert Erps, or maybe over on Discord. Thank you for your support, I really appreciate it. If you want to be excellent and help a Herbert Erpert up, Herbert Erpert up, as well as see videos early and things like that, check out the link to Patreon in the description below. Thank you Peter Enko, you can't see me but I just did a thumbs up. And now, questions. Rato said, how did your New Year's celebration go? Did you do any resolutions? New Year's wasn't really anything special this year, and I didn't actually do anything. The people who I usually do New Year's things with were all either out of town or sick. It's just another day when it comes down to it. I relaxed a bit and played some video games. I didn't make any resolutions, but I don't usually make resolutions anyway. Trey Belovich said, Hello Herbert. Happy 169ing. Any words for this groundbreaking episode that will go down in history? He he he. 169. But? This certainly is a groundbreaking episode of Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb. The second time we've got to use the number 69, and it's just as funny with the 100 in front of it. What words do I have? Wimmy wimmy wham wham wazzle. Also, titty sprinkles. Mmm. Moosey said, do you have any exciting plans or resolutions for the new year? As I said before, I don't usually like to make resolutions. I feel like making changes as I decide to throughout the year works a bit better than one big thing, if that makes sense. I don't really have any exciting new plans, though I would like to save enough money to build a new PC this year. My current machine is getting a little bit long in the tooth. It's probably going to be later in the year because it's almost certainly going to cost at least $2,000, which I don't currently have, but it's probably doable within the year. So far that's the only major plan I really have. Hurchin said, seen any good films lately? Not necessarily new ones or in a cinema, just good. I can't actually remember the last time I watched a movie of any kind. There has been a couple of times I've thought of a movie I'd like to watch, and then when I go to see if there's a way I can watch it, I find that I would either have to pay extra to rent it on Prime, sign up for some other streaming service, or put in the effort to make it fall off the back of a truck. Wink wink. And then I lose interest. There's so many other options out there that I just do something else. Martin Gotham said, Besides the Revel Arc Royal, what was the worst kits you've built so far? I don't know, probably one of the older Airfix kits I built. I've probably forgotten about some of the really bad ones I've encountered. The only one that really jumps out at me is the Airfix Calliope. Trekan Belovich said, Is question bot better in pronouncing words than Herbert? Can it say Pantsaspar wage and common down tongue against the Turburo? What do you think? I don't know that I could pronounce that any better. Panzerspar Wagen Commandant Lair Gang Literboro. At least Question Bot can read the entire thing in one go. So did I, but there's so many letters all clumped together that my brain and mouth suffer a bit of a disconnect. I like to think my human touch makes it a little bit more special. Yeah, that's what it is. Dominican Boy said, You've built some 1700 kits before, no. If so, do you ever plan on making Tomiya's Japanese auxiliary vessels in 1700? I'd image it'd be quite fun. I have built 700 scale stuff before, at least one Liberty ship, and maybe some other things, and I've never given any thought to building Tamiya's Japanese auxiliary vessels. The way you say that it won't be fun makes me imagine that there's probably all sorts of annoying fiddly bits, maybe even some photo etch. So I'm not going to look them up, I'm just going to say that I probably won't be building any of them. In fact, this year I won't be adding very much at all to my stash, only stuff that I really want to build. Sneaky Zaku said, Been a while since I asked a question, so here's one since it came to me when revisiting my Fallout models. Are there any models you loved before but want to redo now, with the experience and techniques you now have, and if so, what models are they? I'm not really into redoing models. If anything, I'd prefer to do the same model again from the start. If I was doing that, I'd like to be able to put them side by side and see the difference. 
I do like being able to look back on older work and see progress that's been made, and I guess you could do that with pictures, but I don't think it's quite the same. Major General Bunk said, Happy New Year. First question of 2024, beans on toast or toast on beans? Why not both? Beans on both sides of the toast. Crawver said, Everybody asks how is Herbert Erpaderp, but nobody asks why is Herbert Erpaderp. Why is Herbert Erpaderp? Why not? It's as good a reason as any, I guess. Let's check the YouTube comments. Jida Colingy said, At four minutes that train signal looks French, what is this game? It looks like the bot doesn't read things in brackets and I didn't catch it. Anyway, the game is Farming Simulator 22, and I've got no idea about the signals, but I do believe that map is meant to be based in France, so it could very well be a French signal. They're nothing more than decoration in the game though, and the train itself doesn't look very French at all. It does have a European looking locomotive, but for whatever reason it's hauling American rolling stock. Mark Ferguson said, any major regrets for last year? Any major personal high points? Any ambitions for 2024? I don't really have any major regrets, none that immediately come to mind anyway. Minor regrets, disappointments and things I would do differently, sure, but nothing that really matters too much. I think the most relevant one to YouTube is when I pushed really hard to get the Project Z Zombies finished for Halloween. I probably would have had a lot more fun if I hadn't spent so many long days working on that, especially since barely anybody watched it anyway. I don't really have any big ambitions either. I would like to build a new PC as I mentioned, and I'd like to be a bit more organised and prepared. And along those lines I've made some changes to the things I use to organise and keep track of things, and I've also got a calendar this year. I might even try using it. Trekan Belovich said, where has the year gone? To S-T-O-V-O-K-O-R. It looks as though the bot doesn't know what Stovokor is. It is without honour. Okay, that's all the questions this month. Let's check out a couple of the models that were shared on the Discord server. Peter and Co shared with us a spoonful of Stuart. As the song goes, a spoonful of Stuart makes the medicine go down, in a most delightful way. Anyway, this is clearly a very small boy. I didn't see any information about the kit, but it does look really cool. The tank has seen a lot with how weathered it is. I think that's very well done. Peter Enko does a lot of really good stuff, and if you're on Discord, you've probably seen quite a bit of it. As mentioned in the questions, Sneaky Zaku has been updating some Fallout models to make them consistent with their current models, one of them being this Sentry bot. I think this is really cool, though I am a bit of a sucker for the look of the Fallout world, especially the robots. Very nice work. Muse shared this 700th scale model of CSS Stonewall, saying he didn't know how small it would be or how much photo etch would be involved, but is pleasantly surprised with how it's turned out. And I would say that it's turned out rather nice. The water base was done with tinfoil, which I think looks pretty effective. Very nicely done. Trekan Belovich shared the Swedish SPG band cannon. Is this the cannon they use in band when they play the 1812 overture? Ha ha ha, I am funny. These are 15mm scale battlefront models for Team Yankee, and as usual, Trekan has painted them really well. The camo has a quite bright green, which I think is interesting and pleasant. Okay, that's it for the models and Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb. Get your burning questions in for next month's Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb in the comment section below or over on Discord. If your questions aren't burning, you don't actually need to set them on fire, I'll probably answer them anyway. Thank you to everybody who asks questions and shares their modelling work, and an extra big thank you once again to our newest patron, Peter Renko. It's very much appreciated. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.